In a world filled with distractions and a pandemic, it's easy to feel overwhelmed, overwhelmed with life, with work, with tasks that should be basic. Rob Hatch is not only a business creator, but also a business coach. He's the author of a book that was just released during this crazy year of 2020 called Attention, the power of simple decisions in a distracted world. It's filled with tips to turn off some of the daily noise and reset your own pace, beginning with something simple, turning off the notifications on your phone. As though we're a surgeon on call or an ER doc on call and, and we, we don't need those interruptions in our lives. So the first step is really deciding what we wanna let through and when and where and for whom we wanna give our attention. I think that overall is kind of a scary thought because everyone else in the world has sort of gotten to this place where we need instant gratification. You know, we can change our own culture and create a situation where, where people start to understand. It's not that I'm ignoring you. It's that I'm going to respond to you in a reasonable amount of time. My email, for example, you talked about filters. I filter in, in my inbox based on, you know, if, if I'm going to receive an email from someone more than once, then they get a little folder or, or on a consistent basis, they'll get a folder. So it skips the inbox entirely and goes right into that folder. Anything from my business partner, anything from my coaching clients, anything from my, my wife, I want, I, it goes right into a folder. When I go into my inbox, then I'm not scanning my inbox, making all sorts of little tiny decisions. Do I, do I not, do I, do I not, you know, open or respond or whatever. I go in and I go to the folders that I've determined are most important first my wife, my business partner, my clients, those are the people that I want to make sure get through. And I wanna go into my email ready to receive it and respond to it. And you actually have a term for that, you call them red dot reactions. And companies are really clever. I mean, it, it is, they are creating a dopamine response to which we are now like responding like Pavlov's dogs and just the minute it goes off, we, we pick it up. Even if you're sitting in a restaurant and you hear a phone four tables over, back in the days when we could sit in a restaurant comfortably, you hear a phone go off four, four tables over, you still pick up your phone almost instinctively. Um, I, I, I've had the experience of thinking that my, you know, maybe my phone vibrated, uh, but it wasn't at all. It just like, I, I feel like my, my body is almost, you know, conditioned itself to receiving that some ways. So we can, we, we can turn those off though. We can decide who gets through. We don't have to pick up or respond or even allow them through, quite frankly. I, go, I still go to Facebook, but I go when I want to go. I go to Instagram when I want to go there, not because I'm compelled. You know, we all fall off every now and then, but I want to go to these places, my inbox, social media, on my terms, when I want to go, for the reasons I want to go. You write, put success in your way. What does that mean? The success in your way is based on three components. One is the idea that our willpower is limited. We are not given an inexhaustive supply and throughout the day it, it wears on us. The second is that decisions are distractions, that for every single decision we make, our ability to make subsequent decisions is degraded. So for example, if I'm sitting around figuring out what do I wear today, uh, what am I gonna eat this morning? That's decision-making energy that I'm wasting uh, whereas if I know what 